High school football playoffs continued last night. We're just a couple weeks away from teams going for a state title. Division 4, 5, and 7 regional finals. One of those teams that are still alive, these guys, the Oak Harbor Rockets, and that's who we start with. They're looking for their first trip to the state final four since 2006. Taking on Orville, Rockets down 7 nothing, but Jack Alexander changes that. He keeps it himself, runs it out, and glides into the end zone. We're tied up at 7. Later, the Rockets down 21-7, but Clay Schulte picks up from where he left off last week. A huge hole right up the middle, shrugging off defenders. Find some space on the left sideline, and he is gone for the touchdown. It's 21-14, and then Schulte again. A huge night for him up the hole. He would burst through untouched all the way to the end zone to tie this game up at 21 apiece. Rockets would lead 28-21 and stretch their lead. Jack Alexander rolls left, finds Schulte, and he'd do the rest. Hurdles a guy and down the sideline. That was touchdown number four on the night. And Orville would be down just one touchdown, trying to tie this up in the closing minute. But Jack Alexander says, nope, seals the deal with an interception, and Oak Harbor wins 35-28. It's amazing. You know, we've talked about this uh, since we started playing tackle football. All of us seniors have uh, talked about making it to the region, uh, winning a regional championship and going to state. So, you know, uh, we're, we're extremely happy, and we're going to go take this one back to Oak Harbor and celebrate. I'm so proud of our kids because they just never quit battling. And coming this season, this is one of our major goals. We wanted to win our region. We are able to accomplish that. And it's a reflection of our senior leadership. They've done a great job. And that's why our kids didn't quit, because of their character and our senior leadership. So tonight, or last night, I should say, Ryan Carter and his Flyers trying to go to the state Final Four, but they have to get past Ottawa Glandor first. It was a snowy night in Finley. OG's quarterback back to pass, but Clyde's Carson Riemann picks it off. That drive led to a field goal. Then OG on fourth down from about the 40, they'd throw it into the wrong hands. Caden Berger with the snag, takes it down inside Titan territory, and a couple plays later, Clyde would cap off the drive. On third and three, Nick Webb gets the handoff, and he gets way more than three. Looks like he's gonna be wrapped up there, but slips the tackle, goes back the other way, and he is off to the races. That was Clyde's first touchdown of the night. They had a huge second half to go on to win. 17-10, and they'll face Cincinnati, Wyoming in the state semifinal. It was also a snowy night for these two, Lipstick and Patrick Henry from Defiance, the start of the second quarter. And Patrick Henry quarterback TJ Rami punches it in for six. Patriots strike first, but they'd miss the extra point. So Lipstick looking to answer, and they do. They get a big one. Lorenzo Walther splits the defense and beats everybody. Look how fast he is. 7-6 Vikings. Then it's Rami for Patrick Henry again. This time he slips the Viking defenders and he sit, that's a touchdown saving tackle right there that he gets through and that puts the Patriots back on top. In the third quarter after Vikings touchdown, Patrick Henry started their comeback. First with this short run from Will Morrow, putting them back on top and then in the fourth quarter, Patriots lead 2013 on fourth and two. This was the dagger. Patrick Henry would go on to win 27-13, and they will face Marion Local in the state semifinal. So I want to give a lot of credit to my kids for still believing. And uh, we, we did say this. We said, the, when you read a book, what's the favorite part of the book to read? It's the ending. So we didn't have the beginning and the middle of the book the way we wanted. But our, our motto and our goal was the great finish, and these kids believed in it.